We are so excited about our cooking segment today with Starla. And Chelsea, the first thing we got to talk to Starla uh -huh. about is the show was filmed years ago and so you may notice Starla is a little bit taller today in our studio. I am telling you guys she's a superstar. We're so excited to have Starla Chapman. If you're just now joining us here on Studio 10 she is a part of Master Chef Junior that is airing right here on Fox 10 Thursdays at 7. It just aired last night yes, and from what I saw last night you guys made some pizzas. Yes ma'am we did. It was very stressful. <laughs> so for folks who aren't familiar with Master Chef and Master Chef Junior Gordon Ramsay is yes, a part of it. So tell me about your experience and how you got involved in it. So um, I was with my mom one day on social media and we were kind of seeing that people were auditioning and stuff like that. And I then asked my mom if I could do it and it went from there. That is just so amazing and we are so proud of her. You're getting a sneak peek of some of what uh, they have to cook and Joe was telling me in the first episode that aired a few weeks ago, one of your fellow contestants had to somehow cook up with a, an eel and yes, so luckily you haven't had to have a challenge like that yes. just yet, but you are cooking up something yes, in our kitchen this morning. Yes, what you making? So today we're going to be making pork chop, rice and broccoli skillet and that means that everything is going to be cooked in one skillet. So we're going to go ahead and start by seasoning our pork chops. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use some pork seasoning and then I'm going to use seasoned salt to um, put on there. So tell me how you got into cooking. Yes, ma'am. Um, and then also for folks who aren't familiar with you, you're a middle schooler at Bay Manette. Yes, ma'am. So I got into cooking from my grandmother at age maybe six or seven. And I go to Baymanette Middle School and I am, um, I'm cooking every day and then going to school. So I think that's really fun. Yeah, and so you've been cooking for quite some time. Yes, and like Mr. Joe mentioned earlier, you, you guys actually filmed this in 2019. Yes, Your mom told me you were 10 years old when you filmed I was. it. And now you're 13. So why, why did it take so long, you think? I think it took so long because I just think everyone wasn't ready for it yet. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm pretty sure that's why it took so long. Well, we are so excited that we get to see it now and as she said she's been cooking up a storm ever since then and we're so grateful that she's here with us this morning so as you season up these pork chops when we come back what are we going to be doing next we're going to be cutting our onions mm -hmm. and then we're going to put everything in the skillet okay and if you haven't watched last night's episode i don't want to give any spoilers but the pizza that you and your team made you said your favorite was meat lovers yes tell me about that pizza making process that's that's tough to make it, it pizza. was really stressful I remember at a time um, Grayson was yelling at me because <laughs> I wasn't doing things right in the oven so I moved to um, putting the toppings on and that whole thing was stressful because we had to make sure everything was perfect for it to even count um, for us to win the challenge. Yeah, in which they their team did, yes, the green did. team, and you guys got to have a pizza <laughs> yes, party after, which is so much fun. So taking, looking back, of course it's all wrapped up. She can't tell us how it finishes, obviously, so you'll have to watch it for yourself. What was your favorite thing from MasterChef Junior? Um, my favorite thing was meeting kids that also like to cook too, because I feel um, when you have a friend, you're sometimes different and have different hobbies, but when we were all out there, we kind of enjoyed the same thing. Y'all, she's a superstar, and we're so lucky to have her right here on the Gulf Coast. Baymanet Middle School yes, from Baymanet, Starla Chapman. I'm telling you, you better take your photos now because she is going <laughs> to be huge one day. We're already <laughs> predicting it because you already are on national television. Yes, so we're going to come back with Joe, continue this, and we'll finish it up here on Studio 10. Remember, you can watch Master Chef Junior right here on Fox 10 Thursdays at 7. So excited for today's cooking segment. We've been looking forward to it all week. Starla, great to see you. Thanks so much for being yeah, here. Yeah, so yeah. Starla is on this season of MasterChef Junior on Fox 10, which was actually filmed in 2019. They're just now airing it now. Uh, so that's one amazing thing. But another thing we wanted to remind folks about is you were here on Fox 10 and Studio 10 years ago talking about your journey as a cancer survivor. Yes, and I just wanted to ask you an update on that yes, situation. Sir. So when I was two years old, I was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. And to put it in shorter words, for some that may not understand, it was a blood cancer. 
and as a result of cardiac arrest, I um, passed away for just a short amount of time, but I'm glad to be here today and glad to be on things like MasterChef and Studio 10 cooking for you all. You are absolutely full of life now, <laughs> and we are so happy to have you here. And you are doing such a great job. Uh, MasterChef Junior is such a fun show. I wanted to ask you, what's Gordon Ramsay like? Um, everyone asked me this question, but I think that because I'm very sensitive, he's kind of mean. But <laughs> for uh, for other people, he's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what he's known for, right? Yes, is sir. being really in your face and yes, talking to all the yes, chefs sir. and being intense because he's always trying to motivate people to be their best and certainly you have brought out the best in your culinary skills yes, lately tell us what we're working on today so we're working on a pork chop rice and broccoli skillet so we've already finished our pork chops off camera mm -hmm. and we cut our onions off camera as well so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put our broccoli onions and minced garlic into our skillet and for some of you all that may not know, this is called a skillet because everything is cooked in one skillet. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our onions. And how great is that when you're cooking in the kitchen and you can just only mess up one pan <laughs> pot, you only have to clean one pan? Yes, that, sir. That's what you wanna do. All right, so those onions are finely diced with yes, your sir. culinary perfection. Great job there. So while you're adding that, uh, let's talk a little bit about more about MasterChef Junior. Yes, I know so many folks in our viewing area and across the country are tuning in to watch this. So you've been on, what, two episodes so far, yes, right? Yes, sir, I have. The first one, I saw that, and you had to make um, fried chicken. Tell us about that yes, fried sir. chicken you had to come up with. So when we were on there, I punched dates. For all of you that may not know, we punched through a wall to pick our ingredient for that day. And I made fried chicken and waffles, and dates were in my waffles and in the syrup that I used for them. So how did you come up with the idea, like, okay, I have dates. Maybe I should make waffles with these dates. So pretty much before I got on the show, I would make chicken and waffles all the time. So it was kind of a simple idea, something simple to come up, up with that I already knew how to do. Well, that's great. And so it is amazing to see these kids and what they go through. So how many total kids were on picked for the show? 16 was Yes, sir. 16 kids were picked for the show. So whether or not Starla moved on, we'll have to tune in to see what happens <laughs> in the future. How incredible is it to be named one of the top 16 best chefs as a kid in the country? It had to feel just so great to be it a part did, of it. It did, because when I originally got out there, I didn't think I was good enough to um, beat some of the other kids because there were 50 original kids that came out there before they picked the top 16. So it was amazing. And did you have a chance to make any relationships with any of the other kids? I did. I still have um, friends from the show to this day. Man, well, that is so great. Well, my we sat down as our entire family. We watched the first episode together. We haven't had time to watch the one that aired last night yet, but we are going to. Yes, Such sir. a fun show to watch and so great to cheer on Starla as she goes <laughs> through. And like we said, no matter what, Starla is a winner, not only in MasterChef Junior, but in the game of life for sure. We're going to take a break now, Starla. When we come back, we're going to show you putting this whole dish together. Uh, looks so great. Can't wait to try out this skillet, Chelsea. Well, happy, happy Friday. We have such a treat for you in the kitchen. If you're just now tuning in, this is Starla Chapman. Hi. We are so excited <laughs> to have her. She's on MasterChef Junior that airs on Fox right here every Thursday night at 7. And she's with us today. She's also from Grand Bay, which is really, really amazing. Bay Manette rather yes, than Grand Bay. Bay Manette, which is really awesome that we get to have her right here in our viewing area. Now, you've been cooking up something yes, yummy. Yes, ma'am. And you finished it. What'd yes, you make? Today, we made pork, broccoli, and rice skillet. Mm -hmm. and that means that everything was cooked in one skillet so now that we're done we're just gonna play everything up so that we can eat so I watched Master Chef Junior last night like yes, I said and you guys your team was good yes um, and y'all made pizza but for the team that had to do the extra step yes Gordon Ramsay was really big on plating so yes, tell me about your technique with this so what you want to do is you kind of want to take it slow almost so you kind of want want to um, fix it during rather than after. Uh -huh. So we're going to kind of push everything over here. 
And while you're plating, I asked you earlier what your favorite thing yes, to make was. And my favorite thing to make is shrimp and grits because I always make it with my mom. Oh, that's really sweet. And I bet it's delicious too, yes, right? Yes, ma'am, it is. And before we bring in some friends, you are wanting to talk about what the future holds yes, for you and what you want that to look like. So when I'm older, I'm hoping to open my own food truck after I start family and finish school. So that's what I'm planning on doing at the moment. She's so amazing. She goes to Baymanette Middle School, yes, be in Baldwin County High School. Joe's coming now, and I'm going to yeah. go get someone, too. I had to come in to try it out, but also Starla is not the only star in the family. We have been hanging out <laughs> all this morning with this sweet thing. Starla, tell us who we have here. So we have here my cousin, Cherish. She's four. <laughs> that smile when she heard her name. <laughs> Hi, Cherish. Say hey to Mr. Joe. So her and Joe have been um, running around the studio here. Have you, have you had fun? Yeah. yeah. So uh, do you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and what about Starla? Is she your cousin? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> well, let's take a look at this finished dish here by Starla Overhead. It looks absolutely fantastic. Tell us one more time what this all is, Starla, this for is the folks at home. pork chop, rice, and broccoli skillet. And once mm -hmm. again, that means that you cooked everything in one skillet. All right. And I'll just try a little bit out of the skillet here so we can taste that. And then also, tell the folks uh, when MasterChef Junior airs so they can check you out. So on Thursday at 7 o'clock, you can watch MasterChef Junior on Fox. Y'all, mm. she's killing it. Now, is that so delicious? Absolutely I can't fantastic. wait to eat it. Well, Cherish, thank you so much. Starla, we are so, so proud of you. And I don't, I have a feeling this won't be the last yes, time we see her on Studio 10. I don't think so. Cherish can get a high five. Can you give Mr. Joe a high five? Yay! Yeah! <laughs> the dream team in the kitchen.